G'day guys, and welcome back to Bush Rats. In the wood collection zone here with Young Lee on a nice uh, wintry day. So the rain's going to be coming in a bit later, but she's not too bad right now. Uh, so this one here, we're obviously going wood chopping, so the fishing's been quite slow lately uh, the last few weeks. Been out a couple times and just still having no luck, so... Fish on. All right, oh, I dropped the cunt. Thought we'd come out wood chopping, because you always seem to catch something. And today, I'm going to test out my new toy. It would still MS 500i. I was umming and ahhing for about a year there and whether to get one of these. Um, I had the 362 there, which is a bloody good saw as well. Um, but a couple of the boys, such as Jay and Birdman, they're running the 500s. Um, and they just seem to cut a fair bit quicker than the old uh, 362. Um, like I said, nothing wrong with that one. I just like to get me some uh, big wood every now and then. I'm still going with the 20 inch bar. Haven't gone with the 25. A little bit more power with these things as well. So the first ever fuel injected chainsaw. Yeah, handy piece of kit, so I haven't used it yet. So today's gonna to be the first time using it. I've got a nice massive log on the side here that we're gonna try and um, cut our way through. Obviously gonna to have to double cut that one, but we'll see how she goes, eh? Not a bad way to test it out. So we'll just go through a few specs here on the old 500i, but it's the first ever chainsaw with uh, um, fuel injection technology. So I'm pretty sure that still have been using the same technology on some concrete cutters. So I don't know a few people that have been looking at them are a bit iffy about the, the new technology, but I think it should be all right. I checked with people down at the steel shop and they haven't had any complaints so far. Uh, what else we got about it? Six and a half kilos. So the power to weight ratio is one of the highest in its class as well. A uh, little fella like me can lift that. So I was looking at a 661, but I decided to go the 500i just because the 661 was about uh, as heavy as a two door gets. So without a gym membership, I was probably going to have a hard time with that one. I mean, she's running 79.2 cc, so pretty much an 80 cc saw. Like I said, brand new. Haven't even, haven't even opened it yet. So we'll give that chain a little bit of a loosen off. Be able to fire this bad boy up and get into this log, eh? All right, change of plans. I'm just going to give it a bit of a warm up. Found a nice little stack here of some skinnies, so. We'll just chop a couple of them up, get the saw up and running, I'm not too sure how to tune the thing. So, pretty sure they come pre-tuned. Um, and the first few cuts, we'll just sort of let it warm up before we get into that big one over there. So, as always, safety first. A pair of gloves. Some earmuffs. Start up this bad boy. This one comes with a uh, primer bulb, so we'll just give that a few pumps. Decompression button down. Sounds oh. gnarly. Let's go, eh? Oh. Skinny's there, not looking too bad. I think she's all warmed up now. Let's go try her out in this big log. Alright, this thing is fat as. I'm sure we'll be able to double cut through that. Should be good. We're gonna have to go either way, so 20 inch bar, it's about a what, 40 inch log. Good girl. Let's have a go, eh? Let's have a go.
We haven't quite reached the middle, so I'm just going to chuck a wedge in it and see if we can bash this thing off. Just hanging on. Bar's about this much too short, but we'll, we'll get her off. Thank you for that. It took a lot longer than that uh, one or two minute montage you've just watched. Just a little bit there that she was hanging on by. Probably should have gone a 25 inch bar. Uh, we got the 20, oh the 20. Probably don't get wood this big too often. Um, but never mind, that's what wood chopping's all about. It's a game of smarts, you know? It's all about uh, problem solving. How to get it off the ground, how to get in there, how to get it off the log. So, can't be fucked getting another one. I'm gonna go try and find something else to get, I reckon. Maybe we'll get another one. I'm gonna have a drink first. Ooh. A little bit of moisture in the middle, a bit of a twist to it, but nice big pieces. The outside's nice and dry, real chocolatey. Just oh, gonna splitting this up. There we have it guys, one large ring cut with the 500i, decent little load there out of one ring, um, all in all, money well spent I think, so it's about 2400 bucks, two and a half grand uh, for this one here, the one I had before was a 362 which is three models below this one, um, and that one was about 1800, uh, but bang for money, two and a half grand. This thing hums super hard. Super impressed with the accelerations on it. Brand new sharp chains, so she's gonna cut pretty well as well. Um, but it got through that big log uh, piece of piss, other than it being slightly too short. So, pretty happy with that. Note to myself, bring more wedges. I only brought the one wedge. So if I had a few more wedges, we would've got that thing off a lot easier, but live and you learn. But yeah, with all that said guys, 10 out of 10 stars for the uh, 500i. Tick of approval by Young Lee. I've only been cutting wood for a couple of years, so take that with a pinch of salt. Um, but what's your favourite soil? Let us know in the comments below. It was torn, 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 torn between the 500 and the 661. So if you're into your wood chopping, let me know what you use. Let me know what you want. Um, let me know what I can do better. So more wedges. Remember that one for next time. But that's it for today anyway, guys. Thanks for coming for the ride. Um, appreciate you sticking around. Like I said, we'll have some more fishing coming up soon. Um, probably some more wood chopping. Might even do one on how to sharpen and what I do to maintain and sharpen up my saws. Um, so leave a comment as well for that if you're interested in that. If you want your merch, Bushrats or Big Cartel. I don't think we have much on the store at the moment, but there's new stuff coming all the time. So if you want to get into the merch, check out our Instagram, at Bushrats. Um, we've got all the details on what's coming and when it will be available on there. Uh, but yeah, friends, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time out on the tracks. Yo.